So, what are stable coins? This is our topic for today, but before we jump into it, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Appreciate every single one of you guys, and now let's begin. Stable coins are a new type of cryptocurrency that often have their value attached to another asset. These coins can be attached to fiat currencies, such as the United States of Dollar other cryptocurrencies, precious metals or a combination of the three. Fiat seems to be the most popular option in the marketplace right now, meaning one unit of a stable equals one dollar. Stable coins are designed to stabilize volatility seen in cryptocurrency prices. Normally, they are collateralized, meaning that the total number of stable coins in circulation is backed by assets held in reserve. Put simply, if there are 500,000 coins, Pitched coins in circulation, there should be at least $500,000 sitting in a bank in order to those 500,000 coins be valid on the market by the law. One of the most popular stable coins in the market are Tether or USDT, True USD or TUSD, Gemini Dollar or GUSD, and USD Coin USDC, of course. So, how do they work? As the name suggests, stable coins are designed to have a consistent price or value over time. There are three different ways of achieving this. The first type of stable coins is collateralized by fiat. For every single stable coin issued, one dollar is kept safely by a central custodian, such as a bank. This means that in theory you should be able to exchange between the two effortlessly without great expense. Second, you have a stable coins collateralized by crypto. But wait, doesn't this mean that the price volatility is still possible to an extent? Yes, but some providers try to tackle this issue by over collateralization. Let's say we deposit $200 of Ethereum to receive $100 of our stable coins in return. The stable coins are now 200% collateralized. This means if the price of Ether drops by 25%, the stablecoins can still keep its price stable as there are still 150 worth in Ethereum collateral backing the value of its stablecoin. This can help to keep decentralization alive, with crypto reserves absorbing the impact of any fluctuations, but a downside is that the huge amounts of capital can be required to get them off the ground. Third, there are non-collateralized stablecoins, which do away with the idea of having reserves altogether. These types of assets see smart contracts take on a role not too dissimilar to a reserve bank. They monitor supply and demand, buying the circulation coins when prices are too low and issuing new ones when prices are becoming too high. The ultimate goal is to keep price in line with that of a pitched asset such as the US dollar. No matter what type of method is used, it is worth nothing that stability is more of an aim than an inseparable future. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Please thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already for future updates. Leave us a comment about this lesson. What do you think about stable coins and what would you like to watch in next episodes? Until the next lesson, goodbye.